How's it going guys, our triple XC here, and I have to apologize here right before the video because the audio um, coming from me right now as you're listening and the audio that you're going to hear from Matuska here in a second is lower quality than we're used to on the channel. Um, I am still out of town and so we are having to do this through email and through different recordings and I don't have my microphone and things like that. So uh, please forgive me here uh, for the low quality, but the content here is really important. So uh, basically uh, the Baku van had stopped in my town twice. And I'm still out of town, but I go, went ahead and sent Matuska. Uh, Y'all know him here from the channel. And uh, he actually spent like a good two hours over there with the reps and uh, kind of conducted an interview with him and got a lot of cool information. Uh, so he kind of recapped that here in a little audio clip, and I'm going to play it for you guys. And uh, we'll roll the intro, and then we'll uh, see what Matuska has to say. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you at the end of the video. How's it going, guys? Matuska here, and I did a little reconnaissance for our triple XC since he's out of town. I went to our local Walmart that had the Baku van show up, and went and talked with the reps there, see what they had. So, I got a little info. It's three Bakugan reps from their marketing division that are sent to Walmart to demo the game. There is no decks of cards involved, no nothing, it's just walk up to the station, roll out, pick up a core, count the B-Power, see who wins. Uh, they were super duper nice, very helpful, wanted all the feedback in the world, any feedback that we could give them. Uh, the setup looks very, very similar to the Momocon setup. Where, for the learn-to-play setup, not for the sit-down-and-brawl setup. But, uh, they did tell me that after Walmart run, they would be doing a trip through the northern United States in GameStops, where they would be demoing what he called the advanced game, which is the game plus, which is the rolling plus the decks, in game stops. So, let's see here, I got some notes. Oh, if you are wondering, there is no, they have no stock with them. They just have their setup, their metal setup, their stands, and that's it. Whatever, whatever stuff, whatever Bakugan stuff they have comes from the store itself. So any of the Bakugan product you see is coming from the Walmart that, it, that they are in. Um, a little note, a little note on the reps themselves. They were asking me a lot of questions on how to play the game, how to play the advanced game, because to no fault of their own, they're from the marketing division. They were told, "Hey, we want to do this marketing thing, and we'd like to send y'all." They said, "Okay." Uh, all they said was, you're going to go get in a van, you're going to drive across the country, and you're going to demo Bakugan. They said, okay. Uh, they did not know how to play originally, but they have all learned how to play and wanted to get better at the game as they went along the trip. So I had discussed a couple things given my feedback. I had talked to them about the distribution. I had talked to, to them about explaining our stores. So we have two stores where we're from, where one store just got newer stuff, another store, like, just got Wave 4, another, the, the Walmart that we were at just got Wave, I'll call it three and a half. It got newer stuff that was different from the other store, but not as new. But we've never seen resurgence, and we've seen minimal restocks since the launch of the game. I talked to them about, we just want clarification, and we, we'd love, 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 if you distribute your game like a card game, and not a 
toy thing. Because the difference is, a Walmart's going to say to their distributor, we're out of toys, please send us some more. Problem is that very hard to run out of Bakugan. They send so much, and only so many people want so many duplicates, if you want a duplicate at all. But for a card game, it's very easy for somebody to request specific products a certain time in advance. It, it's it, there's there's an easier relationship between store and distributor. Um, oh, for the feedback to note, they said that every night that they are in a Walmart, they take all the feedback that was given to them, expand upon it with their own personal thoughts, and they send it to corporate for their own information. Uh, do with that what you will. Uh, the rep that I talked to the most was very heavy-handed on wanting to help community, wanting to build a community, wanted to be a face-to-face -face representation for the people. He, he was very interested on what he when I said I knew how to play the game and all this stuff and knew what was going on with Bakugan and Spin Master. He was like, "I want you to tell me stuff." Because I know you know what is going on, what's going on wrong, what's going on good. One thing I did talk to him about was I I a feedback note that I gave was an LGS road trip might be a good idea for them, which I had to explain to him as a mom and pop store. So I used our local game store the one that we go and we play Bakugan at, and I explained to him, we don't play in a Walmart, we don't play in a GameStop, we play at these stores that have other card game products, that have sleeves, deck boxes, mats, all these things, because there's that's the space that's dedicated to that. Uh, and he said that's a great idea, uh, I know excuse me, LGS stuff is coming, but I would love to see stuff like that. Uh, I gave him the example, because I know of this store, although we're not from here, of Gamers and Geeks in Mobile, Alabama, for those of you who are, who are out there, because uh, I know that's one of the largest stores on the Gulf Coast. And if a company wants to take a step in, they're going to try and get the most bang for their buck. So, if it gets people in the game store, if it gets corporate in the game store, and it can trickle down, I'm all for it. I did a little bit of talking to him about card quality, because I picked up one of the character cards, and I flipped it over, and it was scratched. Card stock was peeling off. The backing was peeling bent in some places, and I'm like, I get this is your demo, but if you, I was like, if you could make a product that could let me carry three Bakugan, six cores, and a, and a and 45 card sleeve in a nice compact fashion, I'd buy every last bit, every last one of them. Because the, the carrying case is cool, but I don't want to carry 20 Bakugan when I'm going to play with three. I, I don't think anybody on the channel has one, so we don't know if it holds sleeve cards, and I don't know if it holds cores very well. What we've been doing is just using an oversized deck box most of us use Ultimate Guard products, put the 40 cards in, put the, put the cores behind it, the Bakugan in front, so there's space. So the Bakugan aren't smashed, but everything fits nice and tight, nothing's going to go anywhere. Oh, he, the, the rep that I talked to was very, very big on feedback from the people who knew how to play the game. He, when I, when I told him, and another friend of mine, were like, we know where your 
I don't want to say mess up is because it's not explicitly your fault, but where you could do better and some quality of life things that could make people's lives so much easier. And he, I, he listened to everything. I sat there and I talked to him for two hours and he wrote down every single note. Uh, my friend he wrote down every the other rep wrote down every single every single note from the from my other friend and they were just super appreciative they they deal with kids all day and they know that's not their only audience they know it's the it's the fan that has come back from the original that wants to play with Bakugan. For, for me, I played with the kid, the toys when I was a kid. Couldn't really play a card game. And now I love card games and I loved Bakugan. So, if, if, if it is stopping in your city, please, 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 give them good feedback. Disclaimer. Very big disclaimer. This is not your chance to put Bakugan or Spin Master on blast. These people are just the messengers. They just want to relay the feedback. This is not your excuse to go yelling at people about distribution, because they already know. This is not your excuse to go yell about Maximus, because they already know. Just be nice. Go play some Bakugan. Go talk to the people. Uh, finally, I had talked to him about the potential, if they're going to do this again, maybe throw in some promotional cards. Now, he, his first idea was, oh, what if we give out a special Bakugan or a special character card? And I was like, let me tell you right now, that's not going to work because one can, you can't have one without the other and be able to said, that makes sense. I said, a great idea, in my opinion, would be print a promotional action card that if you go on a road trip, you bring the same card to all of your stops. But you have it in abundance. You don't, you don't make it an extremely good card because you don't want to create, and you don't limit access to it. You don't want to make a $50 buzz card because you had 10 stops on a tour that that now only 10 people have this card when it's just a, a promotional card. But it's, it's a way for when you go to these things for people to have something tangible... For a kid to be able to take it, flip it over, see Bakugan on the back, and be like, Mommy, Mommy, look, this was this cool game I played earlier. It's a way for for players to, to get a nice collector's item, if it's playable, even better, but you don't need it to play the game. Uh, other than that, if you, if you meet the reps... They they don't know your city. One guy was one guy was talking. And he's like, "Where can I go get food that takes forty five minutes or less?" And I was be nice to them. They're strangers in your own city. Help them out. They they they're super nice and will listen to any feedback you have. All right, so a uh, big shout-out to Matuska for helping me out and getting out there to the Walmart and talking to these guys. Um, he gave me, like, a little note sheet of everything that he kind of talked about, so I'm going to post that around and put it on Twitter and maybe Reddit and stuff like that. So if you want to look at the details kind of yourself, you can check that out. Also, guys, uh, big news. We have the dates for the GameStop event. So uh, I'm going to put those up on the screen here. 
um, GameStop event, as in they're doing this Walmart tour, they're going to be doing a GameStop tour also. Uh, and it's going to be on the northern part of the United States since they're doing the southern part uh, with this Walmart thing. So you Northern guys, you get a good look at, um, you know, the competitive game and stuff with the Bakugan people themselves. So hope you guys can enjoy that. It wraps around back to Jacksonville. So those of you that were in Florida where it started, uh, you will have a shot to get over to Jacksonville and, um, I don't know, get to hang out with these guys and talk to them and give them your feedback. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, uh, if you go and talk to these guys, tell us. Find me on Twitter, Discord. Tell me that you talked to them. Tell them what. Tell me what they said. Uh, tell them I sent you. Uh, and uh, let's try to make this a good experience for everybody involved. I think it sounds like a good idea. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out all the stuff down in the description. We have Matrix mats. We have Twitters to follow. We have Patreons to join. We have uh, a subscription button. You might as well want to hit that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I can't thank you enough for everything that you've been doing for us. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye.